Hey, welcome back to Pepewo's tutorial series. I am Vikram and in this video, I will be talking about how you can send an email using Ansible. Before getting started, I would recommend to check the link in the description where you can find this detailed tutorial. Let's begin with what is Ansible. Ansible has been playing an important role in DevOps. It is used as an IT automation engine which helps you in uh, configuration management, application deployment, and um, n number of tasks can be done using Ansible. Whereas Ansible comes with 20 plus modules with 3000 plus functionalities built in. Easy to install. And if you have RHL or CentOS machine, you can simply copy paste this command in your terminal and that's it, Ansible will be installed. As we all know, it is very important to record the uh, completion of automated task that is whenever a playbook is running in Ansible, it is very important to note then or record or keep a track of that uh, particular automated task and sending those report to stakeholder so that they can act accordingly on that particular report. Few of the tasks you can say whenever an activity is done on a git or whenever a specific job has been uh, given to an Ansible and you need to send those uh, progress report to the stakeholder so that they can act accordingly. Sending an email through Ansible uh, means Ansible gives and provision you uh, to send an email with attachment. So uh, no matter your email, uh, sending an email using local server or any third party server, or you can say using an Gmail, you can send e uh, email using any kind of uh, credential or password. So we have uh, five important parameters that we need to uh, check while sending an email using Ansible. First one is SMTP connection uh, that has host, port, username, password and timeout. Secondly uh, is whether your connection is secure while sending an email that is uh, secure equal to always that will, this will always rectify that uh, you are connected to a secure network. Similarly, uh, it has secure equal to Try it will uh, keep on trying a connection connecting uh, to SSL or TLS connections and if it has a secure TL uh, secure equal to start TLS then uh, before sending an email uh, it will again try for a secure SSL or TLS connection. It has email headers from to CC and BCC. Yeah, subject subject uh, it is very mandatory. It is uh, mandatory to uh, for sending an email in Ansible. Fifth one is email body. Yeah, email body has uh, will be an attachment or the error or the success, uh, successful progress of your Ansible playbook. So this is a simple code where you can send an email using Gmail SMTP server without attachment. So you can just copy paste uh, this particular code and execute. Second part is uh, sending in code this is a code where you can send an email with attachment using in-house email server or you can just simply change your host here and send through a third party. So yeah, uh, before uh, before connecting to some third party, you must check uh, using the host, ping host uh, or telnet host or some port so that it can uh, show you the result whether your host is getting connected or not. There are uh, possible errors or exception you will be getting while uh, running the playbook. That is uh, error one will be the simplest one. That is a connection problem where you can just uh, rectify using a telnet or something. And in order uh, it is getting connected, then you can trace back using uh, hyphen triple V. Second error is uh, whenever a Gmail account credential is wrong, whenever your password or username is wrong, then you will be getting this kind of error. Third error is whenever a file is attached, but uh, there are some permission issue or uh, you can say the file is not available in that particular location, then uh, this error will be triggered. The fourth one is uh, whenever recipient address is incorrect, that is whenever a particular domain or you can say an email id is not reachable or not there then this error will be triggered fifth one is uh, whenever you are mi missing a mandatory field 
that is maybe a subject then it might be giving this kind of error there are many more provision you can uh, use for sending uh, notification that is uh, you can send on hip chat java or uh, you can say slack telegram and many more so uh, that's it for the video uh, if in case there are some issue uh, or you have some different issues uh, while the setup or while sending an email then uh, you are feel free to comment in the uh, section comment uh, below in this video uh, thank you guys for watching see you soon